Hello, Steve Mills here. It's great to be back. I'm uh, again recording this on my podcast, live on my podcast, and also on YouTube. So whether you're listening to it, watching it, or doing a combination of both, welcome. It's great to have you back. And if this is the first time you've listened to me, then uh, doubly welcome. And thank you for your time. Um, today, I want to talk about um, a, uh, a really important thing going forward. Uh, I'm recording this just before Christmas. I think it's the 18th of December right now when I record this. Um, and we're just coming towards the end of what has been for many people and particularly uh, for, for businesses a really tough time. And uh, you know, my heart goes out to everybody who's been ill and uh, my um, uh, sympathy also to people who've been in business and just had tough times. I know there are businesses out there who've thrived, you know, in this time. If you sell, you know, hand sanitizer or face masks, you've probably had the best year ever. Uh, but for the rest of us, you know, it's um, not been quite so easy, shall we say. Um, so... You know, we're going into 2021. We've got, you know, a lot of media saying, you know, things are still going to be terrible. You know, we've got Brexit. We've got, you know, uh, the Christmas and how that's going to affect, um, you know, the the future. And, uh, you know, there's going to be a, another wave of coronavirus infections and so on and so forth. Uh, but we've also got the... Um, um, uh, injections, you know, that, that uh, are out there, and hopefully it will all soon. Within I don't know how long, but let's say six months, uh, pretty much there'll be most people will have had a vaccine, and uh, hopefully, um, you know, we we look forward to the end of the coronavirus, if not the end of Brexit. Uh, but um, I was listening this morning to Tony Robbins now. Uh, Robbins is somebody that I've learned a lot from over the years. He really is a master of communication, I'd say, whether that's business or personal development. And uh, there's only a few, a, a very small few people who I hold as real world class, you know, uh, uh, world class in what they do. And uh, certainly in the field of business development, uh, marketing, uh, personal development. Tony would definitely be in, in that group. And as I said, there's probably about another 15, perhaps 20 people that I, uh, I, I've i invested my time, money and effort in uh, in terms of improving my knowledge. Um, I've You've probably heard me say before that I've, I've spent over 20,000 hours uh, learning this stuff that I know that I, you know, often known as a marketing expert or a sales expert, and I spent twenty thousand hours uh, learning this, and uh, way in excess of fifty thousand pounds worth of my own personal money. And uh, Robbins uh, on this uh, particular um, video this morning was talking about his his top ten rules for success. And he said, rule number one, and, and number one in every uh, sense, is if you want to be successful, you've got to raise your game. You've got to raise your game. And he, he, you know, he, he said, and I'm sure he's right, that that, that, that may sound really simplistic. Uh, it may be fairly obvious, but, you know, what, what's obvious uh, doesn't always get done. It, it, you know, it's fairly obvious how to lose weight. You know, you don't need to be an expert to do that. You just basically burn more calories than you take in and you'll lose weight. Um, and, um, you know, if, if that's the case, why, why aren't we all slim and fit and perfectly formed and so on? It's because we know what to do. We just don't do what we know. Uh, and so it is with uh, being successful, I think. So Robin says, you know, you've got to raise your game. My, my point from a business point of view is, well, what game is it that you've got to raise? In other words, what part of your business is it that you have to improve? Do you have to improve what I'd call your operational business? You know, the delivery of what you do. Does that need to get better? 
For some people it might do. Do you have to improve your products? Do you have to improve your customer service? Do you have to improve your your man management, your HR side of your business, the legal side of your business, the financial side of your business, your knowledge and awareness of that financial side. And the truth of the matter is, all those things could apply, couldn't they? And that's part of the problem, isn't it? We've got a shed load of stuff that we can uh, improve. However, I'm here to tell you that, you know, if you want to bounce back, you know, if you've just had a tough time and things are difficult, then what you need probably more than anything right now is more dosh, you know, more money. You know, if, if, you're, if you were turning over whatever it is, 20, let's say 20,000, I don't know whether that's 20,000 a month or 20,000 a day or 20,000 a minute, I don't know. But whatever it is, if, 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 if it was 20 grand, then, um, you know, and it's, it's gone down now and it's only like six grand, then you've got to get it back up to where you were. And um, using Tony's analogy, really, you've got to raise your standards. You've got to raise your game. So the game that you've got to raise is to become better at selling and marketing what you do or what you sell. If it's a product or a service, you've got to become better at doing that. So how are you going to do that? Well, you're going to have to train yourself. You know, you, you can't just, you know, hey, presto, I'm better at marketing. That, that you know, is just... A fairy tale, you know, it just doesn't happen. You've got to put in the hours. It's like going down the gym, you know. You've got to go to the sales and marketing gym. And, and that's really what I want to get over uh, to you today. So, you know, you look at what you want to, to get, get uh, improved in. Where I'd start, if I was you, is I'd start with your what you're currently doing. You know, what are you doing at the moment? Are you you're winning business from referral? Maybe do a bit of networking, albeit probably on Zoom right now. Um, you've no doubt got a website. Uh, you're probably on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the, the, maybe some of the others. Um, you maybe, maybe you're doing some email marketing, or perhaps you're advertising on uh, Google, doing Google AdWords, or even advertising on YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn, what, whatever it is. If you're like most businesses, then you're probably doing three, four, five, maybe up to seven or eight different things. Well, my advice to you is to think about what you need to do to improve the effectiveness of each and every element of what you're doing. So if you took your website as a, a sort of hub to your business and said, right, okay, what do I need to do to the website in order to win more business? Now, I want to be really clear. That's not necessarily, in fact, it's not probably getting a new website, right? It might be, but, you know, that's where so many businesses start. They go, all right, I'll get a new website then. And so they have another better looking website that doesn't win any business. So the two keys to that are, number one, traffic. How many people are coming to your site and is it enough? So you might want to think about what you need to do to get more people to come to your site. And then really importantly, probably even more importantly, is conversion. They're the only two things that matter. Traffic, conversion. Traffic, conversion. Think, drill that into your head. Not pretty and nice looking website. Traffic conversion. We've got to get people to look at your site. We've got to make sure your site converts. Particularly if you're you know, doing paid traffic. If you're spending you know, a thousand pounds, two thousand pounds driving people uh, from Google into your website uh, to a website that doesn't create leads, then something's wrong with that, that website. Why doesn't it create any inquiries? And, uh, you know, that could be online sales or, or just meetings or, you know, inquiries. 
Um, and we need to do something about that. We need to work out on how we can improve the effectiveness of, of that. Now, obviously, on this um, in this podcast or on this video, I've not got time to go into all that. You know, that's that's a, an extensive strategy. Um, but what, what I, I, I would do is, is just really offer uh, an opportunity to move forward. Uh, so uh, I've got a couple of things to offer you, really. Uh, w- one is, if you like the sound of what I'm saying, and you think, you know, perhaps this guy who spent 20,000 hours in marketing over 25 years and work with thousands of businesses and has literally helped them to make millions upon millions and millions of pounds, which I have done, no bullshit, uh, do you think he can help me? If you do, uh, let's just have a, a, a a call, a conversation. Let's set up a Zoom meeting. Let's meet up to talk about whether I... I can do that, whether uh, you know, there's a natural fit, whether you feel you can work with me, whether I feel I can work with you, and how we can move things forward. So if you want to do that, that's a, a, a definite offer. Uh, and second offer is, you know, if, if you're not up for that, but perhaps you'd like some more of this type of stuff, then I run a, a webinar every day. So if you want to come along, spend an hour with me, uh, listen to what I've got to say on my webinar, then you'd be very welcome to do so. Uh, so to find that, just simply go to my website and uh, you'll find details of the webinar and the dates and so on and so forth. So uh, go and do that. And by the way, the website is steve-mills.com. So uh, go and do that. The third offer is that in January, on the 13th of January to be precise, I'm running what I call a bounce back program. This is part of my objective of helping as many businesses as I can to do just that. In other words, to bounce back, to come from, you know, tough times, you know, where businesses are going bankrupt, they're, you know, right on the verge, they're really struggling, they're struggling to pay the bills and so on and so forth, to bounce back and even to bounce forward and, and be, be doing better than they were doing before. And this is a, a seven-month program. Uh, sorry, I got that totally wrong. This is a seven-week program. It's seven weeks to bounce back. The idea is we meet up, we spend the morning together every Wednesday morning going through actions, agreeing plans of exactly what we're going to do in our business. Uh, And uh, we have uh, uh, lots of bonuses. So I'm going to give you extra training. I'm going to train you now to use LinkedIn. I'm going to give you access to my results program. I'm also going to give you a one-to-one meeting with me. So we have a have a meeting to talk about your business and what what you've actually implemented during that process. So, um, uh, you know, it's a fantastic program. I priced it at £799 for the seven weeks. I thought that, you know, that's a a decent price and good value. Um, But uh, I decided then to do an extra special deal. So I'm doing it for £299. It's 299 quid. And you think, well, that's 300 quid. Uh, But, you know, all that really matters is how much will it make you? You know, the the price is absolutely irrelevant. It really doesn't matter. Uh, But this is 300 quid. And so, you know, all, all you need to think about is will you get more than 300 quid back? Well, I'll tell you what. Do you know what? If you don't make at least 3,000 quid, which is... 10 times what it costs you, I just give you your money back without any problem at all. That's assuming you've actually carried it out. You know, if you've, if you've paid the 300 quid and then only turn up to half the training and don't do anything, then you're not bloody well getting your money back, <laughs> quite frankly, because you don't deserve it. But, you know, I mean, you should be able to make, you know, in, in a, in a one-man or one-woman startup, you should be able to make 30 to 50 grand easily as a result of doing uh, this program. If you're a bigger business, that could, that could be 10x, could be 300, could be half a million, could be yeah, many millions, who knows. Um, so, you know, if you want to attend that, again, it's the website. So go to steve-mills.com 
Um, you'll find uh, all the details for the program there. Get yourself signed up. And um, I look forward to speaking to you soon. So that's about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the podcast. I hope you've enjoyed what listening uh, and watching this video. Thank you very much for doing so. And I look forward to speaking to you again in uh, the ne very near future. Thank you very much for listening.